Powell with another video. We're going to be talking about three stocks, as you can see in the title, so I don't need to write them out. Mullen, HYMC, and NEO. Any other stocks you guys want me to go over, make sure you comment that down below in the comment section so I can check them out. Smash the like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes, and we're going to go over key levels on all three of these. So support levels, buying those, this level. Should we buy them? Should we wait? Let's get into it. The first one is Mullen. Ticker symbol, M-U-L-N, M-U-L-N, Mullen Automotive. Now, Mullen did hit my buying level at 28 cents. Let's go down to the five minute chart. What happened? Broke down, buying pressure came in, but no real buying pressure confirmation. Remember, there's two difference between buying pressure and buying pressure confirmation. That's also something I teach you guys when you join the team. Don't forget, prices go up midnight by tonight. You can pay the yearly fee lock in or you can pay the monthly. If you pay yearly, you get two months free. Okay, but prices go up by midnight tonight. Don't miss your chance. Okay, now Mullen, 28 cents. I still have a resistance level at 34 cents. But with this buying level, we're going to need more movement, okay? Because it's been going down five days in a row. So it might be bound for a reversal higher to these higher prices. Now, will it go all the way up here? That's not too likely. But going back up to around 34, even like 38 cents, it's kind of like my target in there. It's kind of what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a level here at 38 cents. And I'm going to turn this level orange, okay? Because this is my target level this is my target level at 38 cents so let's turn that orange here now resistance is at 34 cents but target is at 38 so i want a little more confirmation that it wants to go higher to resistance is about 21 but overall we have about a 36 percent type of room to play it right so i'm in no rush today is friday i might not play it till monday so we'll see how it moves out but watch these levels we need a little more buying pressure confirmation if today can turn green that might be the buying pressure confirmation that we need. So today to turn green, it'll probably need to push about 30 cents. And right now, as I'm recording the video, it's around 28 cents or so. So it only needs a little more push, not too far. Kind of watch these levels for Mullen and we'll see how it kind of goes, okay? Next one is HYMC. Haven't talked about this one in a while. HYMC, now this is a penny stock, so make sure you watch that risk management. It was a pattern that I was seeing here. Every time it kind of stalled out, it had a nice little up movement, up movement here stalled out up movement stalled out up movement and now we have a what stall out here up movement up movement so i can see this one going higher to this 80 cents range which is going to be the target but my buying level is actually going to change but first of all, i'll show you that that's why i say make sure you join the team we did a nvidia call scalp today okay whenever i send it out i send the month the strike the price i paid where i'm looking to exit what type of play it is so i basically give you all the information of the plays that i'm doing because when you join the team, you get my buys and so also. Sold about 40% of those video calls for about a 20% game. Sold another 40% of those video calls for about a 60% game. And then sold the last 20% of those video calls for a 50% game. Bought those. It literally was a seven-minute play for over 60% type of games. This is why I say join the team. And more importantly, I teach you guys how to trade in the market. So how to find entries, exits, how to find the best options, how to pick not options. How to really build yourself as a trader. It all starts with the first link. Join the team. Prices go up by midnight tonight. Like I said, you can pay the yearly. You can pay the monthly. You get two months free when you pay the yearly if you want to lock it in. You all buy themselves and you also get private live streams every day the market's open. Okay, so join the team. Now for HYMC, I'm looking at an exit of about 80 cents. Now my buying level is actually going to go a little lower. I'm going to go to about 68 cents. As I'm recording a video, it's right around 72. So I would like a little pullback. I don't really want to chase this up here, right? I would like some pullback to around 68 because we don't want to be chasing price. We don't want to be buying at high prices. We don't want to be getting locked in like that. But from 68 to 80, it's still about an 18% gain. So it's still a nice gain we can get in there. So it's really no rush. And it's a kind of a high probable play too. So I'm kind of just waiting. I even thought about buying it at the price that it is now to take us up there for about a 10% gain. But I actually bought another stock instead. So if you want to know what I bought, of course, join the team. So that's what I'm kind of looking out for HYMC on this penny stock. And the last one is NEO, N-I-O, N-I-O. Now be mindful, NEO has earnings next week on Thursday. It's going to have a lot of movement. So I'm trying to get this play in before they have earnings, right? Before they have earnings. Now, I was looking at this $11 mark. I was telling you guys, if it breaks that $11 mark, it's probably going to start trending higher, and it is now. Notice how when it broke that $11 mark here, shows some resistance, and then what? Big movement came after that, right? So now what we can do is we could take this $11 mark off. That's what I was kind of looking at. 
we do have a resistance at twelve dollars but buying level i'm actually put a buying level at about ten dollars and sixty cents okay i probably won't buy it today i probably wait for monday i would like for it to run to the resistance i would like pull down and i think that could take us up to about 14 to 15 dollars which is my total exit so what i would do is i'll put a level here right because 14 14 14 15 that's my total exit that i'll be looking out for here okay so that's what i'll kind of be looking out for on neo stock for some upside movement ten dollars sixty to about 14 that's about a 32 percent gain i even might trade options on it for call options too not too sure on that we'll kind of see how it plays out man we still have a support level at about eight dollars too so Watch out for these levels. I'm hoping to get this play in before next Thursday, before the earnings come. So we'll see. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one. Bye.